In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your WooCommerce single product page in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to transform your product page from looking at something like this to more like this here. Okay, when we scroll down on this element here, we've actually got um, additional images and we can also play videos directly within the gallery as well. When we scroll through here as well, so we've got a few different designs. So here we're showcasing our product bundle in a different way. We've also got this option to enable quantity based pricing as well. So I'm going to show you how to transform your product page to look more like this instead of the default boring WooCommerce product page. Okay. Okay. So if we were to add this product to cart, for example, so here our sidecar pops out and a customer can go ahead and edit everything from here. We've also got the option as well to enable a coupon section and then we can just check out. So it reduces the number of steps within the checkout process. Okay, so throughout the video, I'll be using a few different things. So we'll be using Elementor to customize our product page. We'll be using the Wii Suite additional variation images to add additional variation images and videos similar to this one. If you wanted to bundle your product similar to this, or even if you wanted to add the tiered based pricing similar to this, we'll be using the Wii Suite product bundle and we'll be using an all in one checkout to upgrade um, the user experience as well from the product page to the cart page to checkout. Okay, so this is powered by the all in one checkout plugin and it allows you to add the site cart here, customize the checkout fields um, and upgrade the checkout styling. So if I click on this, so if I click checkout, so we can see we've got this user friendly um, checkout. Okay. Okay. So to get started, we'll go ahead and download the required plugins. Okay. So we'll head over to WeSuite.com and we'll download the all in one at checkout plugin. There's a free and a pro version. We'll also download the WeSuite product bundle plugin. Okay. Again, that's to create our product bundles and our quantity breaks as well. And finally, we'll download the WeSuite additional variation images, and that will allow us to add additional variation images as it sounds, and also video to our product page. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's head over to our dashboard and we can get straight into designing our product page. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually create a new template for our product page. So I'm gonna navigate to templates and then go ahead to theme builder. Okay, so this is powered by Elementor. And then for single product, you're in your case, you're going to click add new because you want to create a new template for our product page, right? Since I've already created one, I'll edit this one and I'll walk you through what's going on. So let's click edit. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add a new column. Okay. And then we're going to set it to two columns. Okay. And then here we're going to add our breadcrumb. It's already here. Okay, we can customize the styling as well. So as you can see, my text is a lot smaller. So we can click on a typography and we can just go ahead and reduce the size. Okay, that looks fine. Okay, so next we'll add our product image. Okay, and then we'll add our product title. So we'll just add it in the second column. There we can see our product title. Again, this is too big, so we'll go ahead and resize it. So as we go through the video, I might not resize everything. So hopefully you'll get the hang of going in and editing each element. For example, you might want to change the color of this, for example. Let me go ahead and quickly resize it. So you might want to change the text color to red, for example. But as we go through the video, I might not be adding these smaller tweaks. Okay. So it's up to you to retrace your steps and fine tune the individual elements to make sure it matches your brand identity. Okay. So we've got our product title here and let's go ahead and add our product price. Okay. So again, we can actually make this bold by editing the weight. Okay. So that's the sale price I was editing. <laughs> okay. So let's leave that as it is. And then for typography here, we can actually edit the weight. Okay. See, so it's a lot bolder now. Okay. Same for the sizing as well. As I mentioned, not all elements I'll be editing um, throughout this video, just for time purposes. I just want to show you how I actually went about structuring and building out this page. Okay. So next is our short description. So we'll just drag and drop it here. Let's see what else have we got. If you're using the WeSuite product bundle, then you will need to add this short code to display the 
product bundles when you're using Elementor. If you're not using Elementor, typically it'll just automatically show up. But since this is a custom template, we'll need to include this short code here. Okay, so that's that's an optional step. And this short code will only trigger if you've actually got the WeSuite product bundle installed. Okay, so if you haven't, don't add it because then it will just be displaying this random short code to your customers. Here we've added um, just a text field which says free shipping. Okay, so we can scroll down and then we can click text editor. We should have added our um, add to cart button first, but we'll add that now. Okay, add to cart and we'll put it above our free shipping field. Okay, and then we've got our product data tab. So that will show, if we navigate to the front end, it will show the long description, any additional information such as the product attributes, and then also the review tab as well, if you've got reviews enabled. Okay, so we'll head back over here. Okay, so now we'll just add the product data tab under the add to cart button, okay? Well, under the free shipping button. Okay, and that's that tab um, right here. And as always, we can customize um, the text size and so on. Okay, so we'll add our social icon. Okay, and we can tweak the styling. Okay, we can customize the colors. Okay, and if you wanted to add your social icon, you'll just click add item here. Choose the social network icon. For example, Pinterest. Insert, add the Pinterest link here. We can rearrange it as well. And then we can remove the sections that we don't need. Okay, we'll add our clothing um, link. Okay, so we'll so we'll click product meta. Okay, and here it's displaying our category and any tags that we've got. Okay, and then finally we'll add the related section. So to do that, we will go ahead and click this plus icon here. Create a single column this time, and then I'm going to drag and drop it below this section. Okay, and then here I'm going to go ahead and add. Our product related okay and this will automatically add our related product section which we can see here okay and that's just a quick and easy way to upgrade your product page design as I say you can get more creative with it for example you can add trust badges right you can add extra information in terms of creating this quantity breaks I'll leave a link in the description showing you how you can actually create this here but I'll quickly show you in the back end what it looks like okay so we'll navigate to product bundles and then we'll go volume discount and here I've got one um, campaign running okay and here I've just selected that campaign for that particular product and here you can see our quantity break so if they buy one item zero percent two five and so on okay so that's our option there okay and in terms of adding a video to your product page let's go ahead and edit this product here and I'll show you how we did it so let's click edit product we'll navigate down to variations it's a similar process for a single product as well usually you'll have a um, product gallery and then you can just add the video from the product gallery so here when you got um, the Wii Suite additional variation image enable you'll have this option here to add additional gallery images so for example if I add um, this image here when we scroll down here to the left, we've got this variation um, gallery video link. So we can just copy a YouTube URL or a Vimeo or a self-hosted URL, paste it in here, and then we should have our video displaying. And you just click add images. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete this since it's not a URL. And then let's just click add images. Okay, so now we've got two um, different gallery images for this particular variation. And again, that's using the WooSuite additional variation images plugin. And then finally, in terms of adding a WooCommerce sidecart and customizing your checkout page, again, that's done with the all-in-one at checkout plugin. I'll leave a link in the description and a call to action on screen as well. And as you customize the WooCommerce product page in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in a comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.